Hello and welcome again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a project S-curve using Microsoft Excel. This S-curve contains the planned value, actual cost and earned value of the project which is shown up here in this table. Before we get started and see how is an S-curve prepared in Microsoft Excel, first of all, let's see how dynamic this project S-curve is. The yellow columns here are the columns in which we will insert the values. We won't touch any other columns. Let's change the percentage completed here for the activities and see how does the S-curve react. Let's make this 90% and the cost like the plant cost is $200. The actual cost that we have incurred for this activity is $350. And this activity is 10% completed, let's say it's 70% completed and the actual cost for the 100% activity would be $800. We will say that we have incurred like $690 for this activity up to now. The last activity which is the testing is for example 75% completed and the cost that we incurred till date are $55. As you can see, the S-curve moves. The dotted green line is the planned value. The red dashed line is the actual cost. And the blue line is the earned value. Based on this diagram, we can judge that the project is at a very bad condition because the earned value is less than the planned value and it's less than the actual cost, which means that the project is bought behind the schedule and over budget. Let's optimize the situation and show the project is doing better than it's doing right now. For example, for the same percentage completed, let's say the actual cost for this activity, which was planned to be $150, is $140. For this activity, the actual cost for 100% completion was $250. For 70%, it would be much less than this. I will decrease the rest of the values and we'll get back to you. I have uh, decreased the actual cost to less than the planned values. And so now, as you can see, the actual cost are uh, lower than the earned value and planned value, which means that the project is relatively in a better condition than it was before. So how do we create such diagrams in Microsoft Excel? From here on our calculations begin. The weightage. As you can see in the formula for the weightage, it is G3 divided by $G$10. This is G3 and G10, that's this cell. Which means that in terms of cost, the cost of this activity is divided by the total cost of the project. Then the weightage is obtained. Same goes for this. G4 divided by this value of $250 divided by $1,600. And the weightages are given for each activity in this project. Next, the yellow cell, which is the percentage completed. These are the cells that we are going to insert the values in. Planned value is the amount that's estimated for every single activity. And here we have inserted just random numbers. But in your case, this might be real numbers that you have estimated. Next column is the cumulative plan value. For cumulative value, the value of the cell is added to the values of all the cells above that specific cell. For example, let's come to this cell. So the cumulative value for this cell is the value of this cell plus the values of all the cells above. As you can see in the formula, it's from G3, which is locked, which means that the G3 won't move, up to G6, which is this cell itself. So from this cell up to this cell. Next column is the actual cost. Actual costs are the costs that are actually incurred by the project which you will have it in your daily reports maybe, or maybe in your procurement trackers 
or whatever financial records that you have for your project. So you insert them in here. There is no formula for them. Next thing is cumulative actual costs. For cumulative actual costs, the formula is the same as for cumulative planned costs. And the last one and the most important one is the earned value formula. For earned value, the formula is, let me write it down here for you. Earned value equals to percentage completed times plan value. This is the formula for earned value. So in here, the percentage completed of this project means that this activity should be 100% completed. The total completion of activity till this stage is 76%. But at this stage, what will be the total percentage completed when we are at this date? For that, the formula is sum of the weightages up to this cell or the cumulative weightages. The cumulative weightage will be 1. If you add all of them, the sum will be 1. But up to here, this much of the project should be completed. Sum of the weightages times the total percentage completed times the total budget or plan value of the project. This will give you the earned values at each step of the project. For example, at this activity level and the next one, the next one. Let's make the situation ideal and say that all the activities are 100% complete. This is the earned value. And another thing, the actual costs are equivalent to the planned values. For this value, it's 150. For this one, it's 250, it's 150, 200, 800, and 50. As you can see, the plan value, actual cost, and earned value all match together to create one single line. If we go back to a reality, they will get far away from each other. If you needed this template in order to learn how to create S-curves and calculate earned value in Microsoft Excel, please do not hesitate to comment down your email in the comment section of this video. If you like the contents, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.